Yo, what is up, everybody? How you guys doing? Also, congratulations, Hen, on getting the first uh, redeem. You're tea posing on the rest of us, as many would say. <laughs> yeah, well, so, how are you guys doing? How are you doing, Hen? You doing good? That's <laughs> going, we got a Tempest in stream. Alright. So, yeah. You're doing good? Awesome. Yeah, so, uh... Today is a special day because it is going to be officially the very last day, at least that I can grind on uh, Ranked, since tomorrow I won't be able to stream, so yeah, so basically tomorrow there won't be any stream, and so this is officially the last day for us uh, today to try and get to Diamond, one with the Arm Dragon Ruler deck. So yeah, kind of nervous, we are currently Diamond 2, we have uh, 5 wins left, and hopefully we manage to pull it off. Yeah, and also the maintenance for yesterday, in case people missed it. It's they added a new uh, bundle deal with uh, this one just gives it infinite and permanent so pretty neat pretty nice pretty awesome so yeah uh, let's go yeah I think on that note let's just jump right in let's not waste any time uh, I did re update the dual room as well so if you guys want to duel each other you can, you can uh, feel free to do so <laughs> happy birthday and it is not my birthday but yeah let's just jump right into it and uh, hopefully we can like just uh, get the wins like five in a row and be done with it, but uh, yeah, because now I'm kind of stressing a bit too on the the fact that we might not be able to make it. Yeah, <laughs> but I still believe so. Let's just get right into it. All right, so we won the coin toss, and all right, one hour it took them to add a set. Yeah. Well, they have something. Maxi, okay. We're gonna ash the Maxi, and hopefully they don't have Gamma. Fantastic, okay. So we've debated the Maxi, now we can basically just go. We can activate Safer, we'll send level 3. Uh, we could actually send the other Safer. Uh, nah, let's keep the lightning here. We're gonna do this, add lightning. Level 3 activates. Uh, it took one hour to add them, you could have crafted one. Yeah. Oh, come on, I drew into another lightning, are you serious? Oh, this is uh, unfortunate. If I would have known that we were gonna draw that, I would have simply done safer. Oh well, let's go. Lightning will discard. Let's discard, say, Graham. Alright, fantastic. Now let's just go straight into Romulus. Actually, do I want to do that? Yeah, this isn't the best hand. It's going to be quite basic, I think. Yeah, we could try Romulus, but then we can't really do anything with the ravine. We're just wasting materials at that point. Imagine losing rank up game to Magic Cylinder. I know, right? <laughs> That'd be so humiliating. Alright, this is kind of extremely basic, but... Uh, we're going to go with this, I think. That <laughs> couldn't be you. Yeah, that'd be so weird, right? We have one, two, three. Okay, we're gonna have to banish one from the hand as well. Let's do these two. You literally did that? Yeah. Indeed I did. Indeed I did, unfortunately, so... Yeah, we gotta make up for it. We got some, uh, <laughs> some last time to uh, make up for it, so... Let's activate Gram, target Tempest. Dagda's gonna activate, setting Scythe. There we go. Yeah. So hopefully we get to just have a. You know, best scenario would be we just win the first five games and that's it. 
Yeah, yesterday we got super close, but uh, unfortunately, it we didn't uh, manage to pull it off. So, All right, uh, honest though, big brain move, <laughs> magic cylinder. Yeah, yeah. Apparently, I mean, I guess if no one's expecting it, uh, you can always catch people off guard. And let's just uh, end it like this. Yeah. Now, I, I'll, tr I will, I'll try my best to not say anything. That way I don't constantly jinx myself like I've been doing for the past couple streams, so... Got a lot of uh, <laughs> ideas of things going on in my mind, but uh, I won't say anything. Don't want to make them a, a reality. Yeah, so... Sounds like you were speaking for ex <laughs> from experience, yeah. Yeah, usually when I say, oh, they totally have this, they're going to have it anyway, so uh, I'll do my best not to say anything. Well, they're thinking, so here's hoping they don't have anything for the scythe. Hopium. Magician's Souls, okay. Question is, is this actually Special Summon Dark Magician? Oh! This might actually be a Dark Magician deck. In which case, I guess we don't really have any reason to, like, freak out, right? Uh, let's see. Actually, I think, since it's Dark magi Magician, I don't think I care about anything they might try to summon from the extra deck. I'm just gonna wait for them to, like, set a bunch of cards and then we can try and pop those cards. Aha. Yeah, let's try and... Maybe we'll hit the field spell. There we go. Let's hit this, let's hit that. There we go. before they probably have skill drain anyways but if it is skill drain we should be fine where did the bots go I don't know okay so they do have skill drain uh, that's fine bring out this uh, so DPE again. Alright. All right, and just like that we can... Okay, so here we have Tempest we can do. Yeah, here we could simply make a... I think the play here is to simply go access code real quick and then just... Uh, pop the skill drain by attributing the access code. At least that's what we can try. Hey, Nobdago, what's up? How you doing? Nice to see ya. Also, thank you for the raid of one. Let's target uh, Dagda. Here we'll banish uh, access code to pop this skill drain. 
but now here we can here we're gonna okay there we go so they scooped yeah I think right now we're just gonna bring out Graham Banishing Tempest maybe add 7 then say we can send 7 add Nocto and then we just keep playing from there my rank is totally undeserved plat 1 oh uh, why is it undeserved oh was it like just bots or something or yeah first duel first win so let's hopefully we can keep this up oh bots yeah Man, I wish I had bots. <laughs> oh, wait, this might be a bot. <laughs> no, speaking of bots, 27 bots in a row? No way. There can't be that many bots, right? No way. Oh, yeah, connection issues, the basic profile. This is totally a bot, I think. Come on, please connect. I want the free win. <laughs> I need it. Come on, connect. Please. Ah, it's gonna give me an error. Come on. Now that, that uh, for the next game, I won't win the <laughs> the coin toss, and I'll go second. Okay, yeah, this is an actual player though. I oh, know we get to win. Uh, we get to go first. Awesome. But yeah. Well, I mean, at least you got a plat one for all the rewards, right? So even if it was kind of undeserved, I mean, not too bad. Alright, let's uh, go lightning, hit level 3. Side frame, fuck. Okay, well, that's annoying. Yeah, we don't play side frame gear gamma, so we can't really uh, chain cross up to that, huh? So, lightning fizzles, but we still get to draw one. Well, that would have been useful, like, a turn ago. Guess we could just set cross out. Set imperm and end our turn. Unfortunately, that's, like, the best we could do. Hey! Akirik, what's up? Okay, let's just chain Maxi, see what's up. If they have anything to stop the Maxi. Mind if I see your list when you can? I'm interested in playing it. Yeah, sure thing. I don't mind showing off my list uh, later. Let's just chain Cross out and... Uh, call it Fusion Destiny, yeah? In case they're playing it. I had a feeling I should have kept him in my hand, but, uh, yeah, whatever. Surely they can't kill me, right? <laughs> but yeah, uh, no, I could shoot up the list after this. Shadal Fusion, okay. They're playing 60 cards Shadal, okay. Snow in hand, I see. Okay, so there's safer. This card is sent to the graveyard by a card effect. You can special summon a Shadal. So that's going to be two draws. Hopefully they can't just OTK us. Yeah, hopefully they can't OTK us. That'd be really annoying. Hey, what's this fear? Uh, diamond one time? Yeah, hopefully. Although, this is duel two. Well, we won the first duel, but now we're at duel two and we already bricked, so. <laughs> Whoops. <clears throat> yeah. What does this thing do again? It's a uh, can target a banish, shut all, special summon, I see. Yo, no way they drew the schism in uh, 60, right? Uh, can't build a road without a few bricks. I don't know how the saying goes. Uh, I mean, yeah, probably. I mean, would, would maybe be uh, more applicable to a, a house, but... Holy shit, why can... Well, I'm just drawing all the bricks. Fantastic. Oh, whoa, wrong one. 
Can't wait for this to be Schism and I just lose. Son of a bitch, they drew Schism in 60, are you serious? Oh, that is annoying. God damn it. That is really annoying. Oh, hey, Hermit. What's up? Sorry, we are already off uh, off on a rough start, because uh, apparently this guy is drawing everything in uh, 60. He drew the Gamma, a 2 of Gamma, and then he managed to draw his way into a Shadow Schism, so... And we, uh, well, we had a no K hand, but it wasn't uh, good enough for this, so. Oh, never mind. They didn't make another window. Okay. Let's do that, actually. Okay, let's actually send everything. Is that worth it? We could send everything actually to get. Uh... Yeah, if we send everything, we can just add Graham. Then Graham can come out and uh, beat this board. All right, maybe we might have something. And double call by nice. Let's banish these two. Yeah, hello, hi, uh, hello, uh, die the hermit. What's up? How you doing? Uh, at the end of the start damage step, this guy battles special summon monster. Destroy that monster. Okay. Okay, let's just go like this. We'll attack into this. Oh, I see. They have snow in the grave. That's what it is. Yeah, double call by. Yeah, it's going to be useful against their snow. Yeah, let's equip the window. In phase two, we'll activate uh, Graham. He will negate the uh, constructs effect. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Actually, let's just snipe out the snow right away. Yeah, just get rid of it. And let's uh, simply end it here. Now, Construct is permanently negated, which is uh, really strong for us. Unfortunately, if they play the winch at all, it's, we're kind of screwed regardless, but you know. We're trying our best here. <laughs> to the fucking Alistair, of course they did. In six deep cards, by the way. They top deck the Alistair. And we gave them a safer. Nice. Yeah, no Muslim and Alistair, yeah. Yeah, no, this guy just drew everything in, uh... Yeah, now they're just gonna... Well, maybe they play the, uh, the wind one, I don't know. Yeah, they, uh, they top-decked everything they needed, unfortunately. I'm pretty sure they can just out this. Going to Verte, okay. 
Yeah, unfortunately we lost this one. Alright, well that one was upsetting. Uh, <laughs> drew into three, uh, three, all three level threes and then uh, just kind of got sacked after that. Alright, well we win the coin flip uh, this time so hopefully we can make up for it. Yep, yeah. uh, so how are you guys doing? You guys doing good? I saw like, a couple of you guys managed to... Uh... Oof, rough hand again. Yeah, I saw on the like Discord that a couple of you guys managed to like make it to the... Uh... to uh, Diamond 1 and whatnot, so that's kind of cool. Yeah. Kick W, yeah. True Alistair players have an invocation in hand. That is true. Well, I like their name. It's Brick God, but unfortunately, I seem to be the one with the name right now. So, just Shotgun the Veiler. That is, that is quite interesting. Yeah, sure. I mean, that's fine. Fortunately, here we're just gonna have to. Uh... We're about to make a very suboptimal move. We're about to pay six thousand just to make a DP pass. <laughs> Yeah, the yeah, an absolute classic here. KC is it's the uh, the Kaiba Cup in uh, Duel Links. Fantastic. So there goes six thousand life points down the drain for <laughs> DP <DPE> pass. <laughs> Absolutely atrocious. Let's set this, set that, and set that. And there you go, the salt cup. <laughs> yeah. The vomit's in what? Sword so tinny, okay. Sure. In before going against Burn Player, yeah, we we would have been uh, kind of screwed. All right, go uh, right ahead, I guess. Let's see. Also, hello, Madrak. How you doing? Ah, oh, well, there's Vishuda. Hello. What if I just hit your Vishuda though? Yeah, worst part, they still haven't normal summoned yet. You're good while well, I was in. You're good while well, that's a lie. I've been better, but I'm still alive, so that's good. That is good. Although, well, I started to hear that you are not doing all that good at the moment. Alright. Oh, that's gonna be a lot of burn damage. Oops. End of the main phase, okay. I see, so they're trying to be cute about it. Well, let's activate DPE. They're gonna chain Baron. And we're just gonna chain Droplet. Send the Verte so you can't kill me, and... There we go. Let's hit the droplet, let's hit the Baron, and there we go. Hopefully here they don't just make Hulk. <laughs> An 
No, apparently not. I bet this last card is like called by and they're holding onto it. Normal Ash make Hulk, <laughs> yeah. That would have sucked. Okay, no, so they're not holding on to whatever that is. Okay. Alright, let's see if we can't make this 800 life point comeback, yeah? <laughs> Against Sword Soul. Well, uh, not, well, I guess we're going to have to use Dasher, yeah? Royal Decree. Joke's on you. I don't play trap cards. <laughs> that is funny, though. <laughs> I activate Royal Decree. I don't have trap cards. Like, okay. I guess it's for, like, the Eldritch matchup, but... Yeah, it's like, why aren't they playing Blackout? What the hell? Anywho, congrats on an affiliate. I need to go be productive. Hey, thanks, thanks a lot, Mad Rekka. Congrats to you as well. Because I also saw that you, uh... Hit affiliate the other day, so that's kind of cool. That's pretty awesome, though. All right, yo, Madrek, thank thank you for the subscription. Affiliate perks, yes, indeed. Yeah, we both got affiliates, so that's uh, really cool. I uh, guess you'll be normal summon this guy. You have call by or cross out? I have to double cross out right now. Uh, let's go into... <laughs> Dagda could be funny, but at this point they're down to like no cards, so I think... The best move is just to go seals. Although, nah, we could just go uh, Dagda. And let's beat them down. Do you have call, call by in main for call by? Yes, I do. Yeah. We are currently like really safe uh, against any call by stuff. Loki kind of want to just pop the back row right now. Let's chain Dagda. Yeah, I, I'll pop my own cross out. Just so that I don't have to deal with uh, whatever they're doing. So let's hit the cross out. Let's hit this thing. Oh, it was the searcher. Okay. Well, that's fine. We are in a commanding position at this point, so... We're going to hit this. We're going to hit the uh, Dagda. Well, one thing's for sure, though. They are definitely not going to uh, Imperma, so... Let's set this and end our turn. Th this should be game, though. Command them, Tempest, yes. Ooh, interesting. What do they have in the grave? They have uh, nothing, okay. I'm sure you can do whatever. And an ad? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry about that. Valphase, they're gonna try and crash into the Dagda. That means you can't actually use this. There we go. Yep, so this is basically game. Man, that was close as hell. <laughs> we had to pay 6,000 going to DP and we ended with uh, an actual win somehow. Alright, let's go battle and this is over. Alright, there we go. Just like that. 
Easy dubs to Diamond 1? Well, hopefully. I mean, if we don't get sacked like a <laughs> against the Shadal player, should be fine, yeah. We're currently 2 and 1, so unfortunately that just means we have only uh, made a singular progress, or a singular win in terms of progress. Alright, let's see. Alright, you are going second. Maybe. I mean, they won the coin flip, I don't know. Okay, so they are going first. Holy shit, what is this hand? Okay, so we completely bricked. <laughs> Hopefully we top deck something good. Because <laughs> God knows we can't do anything with this hand. Oh God, it's this thing. <laughs> What they reveal? They revealed this thing, okay. Uh oh. Well, unfortunately, we brick because we drew no engine cards other than seven, so. That's a bad start. Oh, let's see. I'm assuming they just go, uh... Yeah, at this guy, make Baron, and uh, sit on that, so... Uh, I think we have to, like... I mean, we, there's a lot of things we could open for this, but, uh... Not looking too good at the moment. Well, there goes one cross out, so that's, uh... Pretty neat. Yeah. I think lightning lets us do plays. Yeah, lightning would be good. You know, uh, flash would be good. Safer would be good. We got a, couple, a bunch of things we could draw. The problem is, uh, are we gonna? Alright, let's see. Here I'm guessing they're going to go into battle. Yeah. Well, it's uh, top deck the right thing or we're dead, so... Uh, <laughs> might be a short one. That's not counting all the other cards they have in hand as well, so... Alright, let's see. Well, we lose. <laughs> I love just drawing all my staples and no starters. Well, we're back to square one, so that's unfortunate. Ah, bricking at the worst of times. Yeah, big oof indeed. Yeah. You know, uh, we need like we would need like five games in a row where we go first and we don't brick. That would be perfect. Just like have five perfect games in a row, and then I don't care. Like this right here, it is... Uh, it's it's workable. We can work with this, actually, so it's not too bad. Go Flash, summon out level three. No Maxi and Ash, apparently, since there was no uh, response time, so let's see. Society, if we didn't brick, yeah. Oh, let's see. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Almost some Gazarm, use the effect, bring out three. Don't 
I go Romulus or... Let's see. I could go Halk, summon out Nash, go... The, like, Dagda, I guess. I guess we could try that out. Let's go here. Because the other play is to summon out Pylarm by discarding the Maxi, but uh, I don't really like discarding Maxi. That's uh, at least suboptimal. Oh, do they finally have something? Oh, they have Nibiru. Shit. Well, let's use Maxi right now. We should probably add a Nibiru to our deck for a cross out target. I think I'm gonna do this after this duel. Yeah, because too often we just uh, get nibbed and don't have a response. Alright, now we drew two cards. Now we get to bring out Graham. Graham can banish... Uh, let's banish these two. Big token, though? Yeah, we're not going to keep it, though. We're going to go into Link Spider and... Yeah, Link Spider into Verte. Sag, I always keep my big token. Uh, usually I would, but I don't know. The DP is much better than just big token. Because you can't do anything with uh, just a big token, so, you know. Here we can go... DPE. We'll pop a Verte and their Nibiru. And we'll set two. There you go. Oh, you don't have DP? Oh, that's unfortunate. Yeah, DP is uh, really strong, so it's kind of worth keeping it over the token. And generally speaking, when people play Nibiru, they try and have a way to out the token regardless, so... You know, just sitting on a token isn't always the best choice. Alright, so it's this thing, okay. It is a big wall, though. Yeah, but it doesn't do anything, so that's the issue. And of course, they also drew into the Excelsior, which is uh, unfortunate. It frustrates your opponent. I can see that. I think we're going to imperm this. Yeah, this feels like it's about to be a... Uh... Yeah, I feel like they're about to just make Verte and sit on it. Depends if they have a normal summon as well, that's kind of rough. Hopefully they have nothing to discard. Copium. Yeah, this is like big copium right here. Okay, they're gonna summon him, but they don't have anything to banish. No, that's shit, that's alright, they have the uh, Sword Soul Emergence. Whoops. Well, that is rough. Uh, sure. And here, like. Oh, come on, what? Well, it didn't let me chain, unfortunately, so I can't pop the token. Rip. Okay, there it is. Now we're gonna use this to pop their token. 
and they won't have anything to discard Copium. Maybe as response to token summon. That means he has spell, spell, spell speed too, yeah, probably. And after all that, they finally managed to pull off the fucking summon, so, uh, yeah. We might be dead here. Yeah, unfortunately, it is GG. They make Baron, they make Verte summon DPE and kill me. That's exactly game. Actually, it's even more because of the uh, long one. Isn't big boy game? Uh, not exactly. Well, maybe. I don't know. Because that's... Yeah, actually, yeah. Any 3k beat stick uh, is game on board. Yeah. Well, unfortunately, we didn't have anything yet. Let's go put Nibiru in the deck. Just... Why not? Uh, just that way, because, you know, it's happened a couple times. We've had a... Uh, this sort of a uh, cross on hand, but no nip in the deck, so uh, I don't know. Let's see. Yeah, I feel like I should probably start cutting down other things, but I don't know. <clears throat> I'm not quite sure. Yeah, this is like the the worst kind of uh, progress. Is it's the progress where there's no progress, and you just win one, lose one, win one, lose one constantly. That's always like super annoying to me. Is it Sword Soul that they always have a discard? I'm not sure. Also, come on, really? Let's go Tempest. We'll discard the level 5. Here we can add Safer. Safer and level 7, I think. Could be a good, uh, good little plan. But I, I don't know. Uh, maybe. Maybe it is a Sword Soul, I don't know. Uh, let's go add level 7. Safer, activate the effect sending level 7. We're gonna add a Nocto. Oops. Oh, let's see. Here we go, and. Yeah, let's go for Flash. This is Striker Dragon. And here, I think we go for Romulus, maybe? Yeah. Romulus is always a good pick. Uh, he meant, is it Sword Soul? Oh, it is Sword Soul. They always have a discard. Okay, I see. Yeah, my bad. Yeah, sorry, sorry. I totally misread that. <laughs> my bad. Yeah, apparently the, they always do have the discard somehow. Well, let's see. Oh, come on. <laughs> I love drawing Celestial. Okay, uh, here we can go, Rafine. We already normal summon, so we're just gonna send... Uh, Distrudo. That will get us our Hulk plays. Okay, we can activate this. We'll target this guy. I don't think we have a way of making Verte right now, so... 
That is quite unfortunate. But we still get the lock, so that's all good. No, I will not ash my own card. <laughs> I like the last time. Yeah, let's do this. Bring out Ash Blossom. Go into Dagda, and... Surely this is going to be enough, Copium. Alright, there you go. <clears throat> and let's see what they're playing. Celsia, okay. All right, here we can set the scythe. Out comes TG Wonder Magician. TG's gonna activate, pop the scythe. It's either droplets or call by, I feel. You know, they're activating this now, so... Oh, I see. They might try to, uh... Maybe they're trying to chain uh, Imprim or something. Cross out designator, okay. Well, in that case, I think we'll actually let it go through. Because uh, regardless of what they summon, we still get to make a battle, which is fine. I'd rather protect against a, like, call bar or something. Actually, we went through all of our, uh... Oh no, it would have been cross-off for cross-off, never mind. Yeah, so they get to bring out Muyi. Here's Scythe Triggers. They get to summon their token, but I don't think it's gonna matter, yeah. And here we make the home. Yep, just like that. There we go. So they are locked out of the extra, and they cannot summon from the extra deck. Sorry, we got a Baron, and they can't summon from the extra deck. Yeah, that's fine. You can search. Dagda, Dagda activates, we get to bring out Scythe again. We get to Scythe him twice! <laughs> Doesn't do anything, but... Hey, at least we did it. Alright, and... Their, their turn is ended, okay. Into pile armed, okay. Uh... You have Tempest that can be used. <laughs> Scythe locked out. <laughs> Scythe locked twice, yeah. Because it totally does something uh, when it's twice. Let's discard the pile armed. We're gonna add a uh, Gizarm. <laughs> you don't. Exactly, you don't out it. That's the secret. Alright, let's bring out Lightning. I forgot I took out Savage. I should probably put it back. It's like, uh, it's been a few times now. I keep looking at my extra deck thinking I'll see Savage Dragon, and, uh, it's not there. Okay, here we can... Uh, 
If I put this in attack, it's not enough damage to kill, but... Uh... Actually, wait, it's going to be really close. Oh, did I mess up by now putting lightning in attack? That's kind of funny, actually. Whoops. Uh, bot 2. What do you mean? That's 2, 4, 6, 7... Oh, okay, you're talking about the... your games, okay. Alright, let's go attack with this guy. Oh, if we would have put lightning in attack position, this would have been game. That is unfortunate. Well, here we can go into... Lightning and Gizarm for seals. Here we can make Verte. <laughs> yeah, give me some of the bo those bots. Yeah, I know, right? Man, I wish I had bots right now. It would make the it would make uh, finishing the climb a lot easier. Alright, let's bring out this guy. We'll send these two to the grave. Use cowboy for game. Yeah, with uh, all my level 4s on the field, yeah. Let's just use it right away. We'll pop this. We'll get rid of the Verte so they can't, like, try and cheese us by, like, just attacking into it. But, uh... Alright, let's see. Now we bring out DPE again. Hey, you want to see something funny? <laughs> it's coming back out. Okay. Do we even... Actually, no. I'm going to negate that with a uh, battle. And... Come Scythe. Scythe activates and resolves. Cool. And we got a disconnect. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, <laughs> double Scythe lock, because why not? Two Falkton players instant scooped. Hey, free wins. We take those. <laughs> Alright, there we go, yeah. Oh no, they, they disconnected. What a shame. Alright, so that is... Yeah, so we're finally back at uh, four wins away. Can we finally get two wins in a row? Yeah, but like, why? I don't know. Your point is going first. Uh, well, at least they won the coin toss. Yeah, okay. They're going first. Man's ranking up, yeah. Hopefully we can stop that. No hand traps, fantastic. <laughs> I love drawing zero hand traps. <laughs> it's truly the the best thing. Oh, and it's fucking Rongo. God damn it. You serious? Hey Tenderless, what's up? I keep saying I need to not be the Bluebird on the Bluebird website, then I keep getting back and getting frustrated. <laughs> yeah, is there frustrating stuff on that site? Gotta head out now. Have a good rest of your stream. Hey, thanks a lot, Nobunaga, for a hangout. And uh, see you next time. Yeah, make life for the hell for them? Yeah, I don't think so. I think they're gonna... Yeah, I think they got the full combo. We can't stop this. Well... <clears throat> I don't want to scoop too early because you never know if they like mess up or something. But at the same time, it's like they definitely have it, right? Yeah. 
Yeah, I'm just gonna say they have it. They got the... Herald of the Abyss it easy, yeah. Yeah, no point in sitting through this one. Well, that was a 50-50, and uh, unfortunately we lost. Well, we're, now we're against someone who's about to lose a rank, so... Uh, and we lose the coin flip again. Uh, fantastic. Does Rongo stop you from playing Droplet? Uh, Rongo is unaffected by Droplet. Yeah. No, it's uh, basically Rongo says that if with like five or more materials, you can like... The, your opponent can't summon or do anything. And he's, it's also unaffected by everything, right? So uh, basically what that just means is uh, even if with Droplet, you can't do anything to Rongo, so you still can't play. There's like two cards that out Rongo in the game. Yeah, so here we're playing against Try. I don't know if it's Try something or if it's just Try. If it's just Try, I think we're fine. Because uh, Try isn't... Yeah, there's like two or three cards that out Rongo. Like a, a five mat Rongo, I think. There's like Herald of the Abyss, and then there's a card that like makes your opponent detach materials from an Ixie monster they control. So that's like a ne another way you can out it. And then there's also like... Like if they have a token, I guess you could go battle phase, use evenly. And because they have a token, they're forced to keep the token. So they just send off the... Uh, the other guy, but yeah, that's basically it. Yeah, so... Let's see. Yeah, so, so there's like a couple ways to out Arango with uh, all of the materials, but unfortunately we're not running any. Hold up, what? Token, how will they have that? Exactly. Usually it's by uh, being really good in top decking Nibiru, but uh, not this time. Yeah, pop the bear boom. Okay, so they have a revolt to take care of. Gee, I wonder what those sets cards can be, yeah? Well, we got Droplet. Unfortunately, we're going to have to try and pick and choose when we, uh... <clears throat> when we shotgun these. Let's see. Discard seven. Ash Blossom, okay. Well, we baited out the Ash for the uh, Fusion Destiny, that's always good. Here we get to add Flash, I guess. It's kind of terrible. But we gotta do what we gotta do, I guess. Uh, we're gonna blow through all of our resources way too early, but, you know. <clears throat> Not much to do about that. Alright, using DP early. Fantastic. So what's the appeal to Armed Dragon anyways? Uh, they work really well with uh, Tempest and the other Dragon Ruler cards. It's just that they have really good synergy. That's basically it. Oh shit, that's right. I forgot someone asked for like a deck list earlier. And I totally forgot. Whoops. <laughs> oh yeah, it was Akirik. A Whoops. Totally forgot about Akirik. Alright, let's go.
Well, let's just do our own uh, strike, uh, fusion destiny, yeah. Let's bring out DPE. Yeah, DPE gaming, yeah. Come on, use re use revolt to trust. Hey, there you go. Yeah, that's fine. You can shotgun revolt. I don't really care. Oh, well, let's see. Yeah, so the idea be behind the deck was to make a uh, a deck that was focused around like uh, summoning, uh, you know, the well. I say, I'm g I say the dragon rulers, but there's only like tempest. So it's a deck focused to like try and summon out tempest. Uh, I wonder what, what is this card's effect exactly? It's you can banish one card on the field. Quick question. Oh, fuck off. Of course they have Imperm. Well, if we're gonna lose DP anyways, we may, we may as well just, uh... You can hit the Scythe. If I hit this and I hit... Level 3. No, 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 wait. Oh, wait, I think I have a... Uh, I think I have an idea, wait. So if I send to Droplet, I can pop level 3. I learned that when my opponent... Uh, wait, what? It has to, uh, to banish, by the way. Yeah, so I, I'm trying to like see if I can clear my field, but by... Oh, we miss. Yeah, I think let's just send. Let's do this, yeah. Let's hit these two. Now, with this guy, we can hit Droplet and. Let's hit the Shurag. Okay, that didn't really go the way I was hoping it would. I was trying to make them banish their own DPE, but uh, unfortunately I had to like send both, which... Uh, <laughs> or else they could have just targeted the droplet, I think. But that's fine. Look, I learned that when my opponent uh, DP himself, I had to banish my own Shirag. Yeah, now, that's what I tried to do, but uh, that unfortunately, like I was initially, I was gonna DPE hit to level three and DPE, but uh, yeah, like the plan was to hit the level three and DPE, but then they had Imperm, so. Oh, don't tell me they have call by. Fuck off. Okay, no, it's the. <laughs> Let them Cyphok themselves. It's hilarious. Okay, there you go. Nice deck. <clears throat> so that buys us a turn, since they literally cannot do anything. Yeah, unfortunately DP does come back the next turn, but uh, hopefully we draw into something that we can special off of Dasher. Then we can use Celestial Draw to see what's up. But yeah. 
Yeah, Rhino Rescue Cat is kind of doing nothing at the moment. I wonder what the top card is. Alright, there we go. Oh, that's good. Dasher, summon out, safer. Let's banish Dasher and see what's up. We drew nothing, fantastic. Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. Safer to send lightning. Let's try this. We'll do safer to sending lightning to add Gazarn. they're thinking about it. Or maybe they're just reading Gizarm to see what it does. My guy doesn't know how to use White Princess correctly. <laughs> oh, you're playing against a Skull Servant? Uh, let's see. So here I'm guessing, yeah, they're reading Gizarm. No, stop reading! Yeah, I think here we, uh, normal 7 Gizarm... They're probably gonna shotgun on the Gazarm, I think. Here we get to bring out this guy. Yeah, now they're gonna use it, okay. Hit the Gazarm, I guess. Yo, no way! They just left it on the field. Uh. Oh, okay, well, cool. We're just gonna... Going to Romulus, add Ravine. Yeah, we're, we're so gonna use the Unicorn on that. Uh... Go into this. We still have Halk or Weezed. Oh, hold up. We didn't, uh. We haven't used Halk yet. If I ravine, send Destrudo, Destrudo, come here, Halk. Go here. Well, I could unicorn spin it or I could maybe wait if I go to Strudo to go here that makes how Hulk summon something else No, 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 no. Let's not do that. We could go Gram. Gram comes out. Negate this. Beat over the DPE. Attach it. Then we go attack, attack. And we would have a couple follow-ups with Gram. I think that might be the better choice. Equip it, attack, attack.
Nah, I, I feel like nah. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. Let's see. I'm trying to think about. Nah, you're right. I think maybe you should just take the unicorn and just get it out of the way. Not even care about it anymore. Yeah, I think this is safer, because I'm not quite sure about the ruling of if Graham equips it, and then like, if Graham gets linked off, does it count as DP getting destroyed? And even if we did beat over Graham and equip it, they, they would have still gotten the effect. So I'm not too sure. Unfortunately, they can just uh, Fractal again. I shouldn't have used a Ravine. It's like I decide to go for the Ravine play, then I kind of double back. And I might, uh, now I'm just going to lose the Ravine for no reason because of it, so, whoops. I should have uh, kept it in the hand. Yeah, that was a little misplay. I should have uh, thought about it more clearly before. No, they're going to banish the, huh. Now I guess, oh, okay, I guess here they try and make access code. Yeah, okay. Well, unfortunately, I think uh, we were screwed regardless. Yeah. But actually, no, I could have summoned out Graham just negate it, make, make seals and pass on that maybe. Yeah, that's an access code. Damn, that is disappointing. And we are really not a uh, not doing so well today. Here we get to go lightning. Let's discard level three and see what we draw. Into maxi, okay. All right, so that goes their maxi, and we got a cross out for uh, the next turn, which is always uh, neat. Alright, so here I am, and now we draw a card with level 3, and I forgot to show the deck list again, whoops, <laughs> swear I'm not doing it on purpose. Now we have to save it, we're gonna... Uh, we could send 5 at 5, 5 adds pile-armed, or we could... She, she a nice. Hey, what's up gamer? Been a while, how you doing? It has been a while. Uh, doing pretty good. Currently, we are in uh, ranked one, or diamond one, rather, and uh, we are sure just trying to make it to diamond one. Wait, did I say we're in diamond one? Sorry, we're in diamond two, and we're trying to make it to diamond one. So <laughs> my bad. Yeah, uh, how have you been? Uh, let's see. Do I send Tempest at Pylon? Yes. Yeah, no Nocto here, we're just gonna go into pile armed. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm like trying to focus on this because I'm I really want to try and could get to diamond one, so I'm kinda like uh, distracted at the moment. 
keep saying the wrong things, you know. Yeah, let's add a gram. Parlor can set seven. We'll add flash. Oh, let's see. So here we still have Tempest, we have, still have Gram, we still have everything. You've been doing good, just getting into a new game. And for now, you stop playing Yu-Gi-Oh, but, but you might come back to the, the Master Duel in the future, yeah. I don't know what Duel, uh, Duel Links you. Just don't get a lot of gems. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah, when you start off with the game, yeah, you definitely get all your gems, like, at the start only. Uh, let's go here, we'll discard that. Yeah, it, it does slow down after a while, that is true. Send to Strudo. Bring out Tempest, make seals, or sphere. Well, seals, it's the, it's the same card. We'll banish Safer, to we'll banish Lightning. Just level all your characters easy? Yeah, of course. That's the easy way to make it in duelings. Just level up everyone and grind for like hours and weeks. Uh, if I go here, dum dum dum. Let's go, let's go for Seals, Halk, and uh, Dagda. <clears throat> Alright, and... That's all it comes to Strudo. There we go. Let's make Halk a Fibrax. We'll bring out Ash Blossom. Here we can go banish these two. Yeah, but I'm lazy. <laughs> that, yeah, that happens. It is like a ridiculous amount of grinding, so I kind of get it. I'm lazy in with that, uh, with what deck and... Then when after you did all the orbs, there's just a problem, you'll get bored and want to do multiplayer, but the thing is you don't have a good deck to have a chance, and that's the thing. Yeah. Yeah, by the time you're done grinding for the deck, you uh, don't want to play the deck anymore. <clears throat> that's rough. Droplet. Oh fuck, they sent a spell. Wait, what? Uh, sure. I'll activate Dagda. I'll, uh, activate Halk. And I'll even use Cross Out to negate their droplet. There we go. Let's bring out TG Wonder Magician over here. That does gonna set scythe. Alright, there we go. We got this. We won't use TG right away. Now we're going to use TG. 
into Baron. There we go. And just like that, the lock is successful. Now, but with Master Duel at the start, they are like, here, have about 10,000 gems to start. Yeah, exactly. And then at the end, it's like, oh, you have to, like, every rank is, like, only 100 gems, and that's it. All right, nice. We got a pretty uh, solid win out of that one. All right, back to four more wins. Come on. Hopefully, we just get, like, four really good duels in a row, and, uh, like, hopefully we go first against this guy. Damn it. Uh, it's not going to happen, is it? Master Duel is much easier. Yeah, that is true, because there's the crafting system with the Master Duel. Which is always like a... Oh my god. Which is a... Huge benefit. They're playing 51 cards. Surely they bricked, right? So I'm guessing the meta changed a lot since you quit for a bit. Uh, yeah, since you quit, they released a couple cards. Well, at least from the last time I saw you at the, in the stream. They added cards like Baron. And then they also added Sword Soul, like uh, you can see, and a DPE. Yeah, sure, they break. I mean, listen, they were playing 51 cards. Like, surely they don't draw their whole combo, right? <laughs> Copium. But yeah. So yeah, so that's like the main uh, difference. Like uh, right now, the best deck, I think, is or the most played deck is uh, Sword Soul Tenyi. And they have the Tuner Watch. I think it's like Ashra or something. No, this, this one's Ashra, no. <clears throat> yeah, crafting is easier, and there's DP gaming. Yeah. I'm sure they break, yeah. Clueless, yeah. Uh, let's see. Should they don't draw the cards to destroy your whole combo? That would be a shame, yeah. Yeah, it would be a shame, honestly. Yeah, fortunately, though, we kind of drew garbage, so. Well, I, I, well, right now they're kind of taking forever to think, so I don't know. Maybe they actually didn't do anything. Well, they're not going to Baron, that's for sure. So it's Adhara. Okay, Ashuna, Adhara. Remember a deck I wanted to build? It was like Speedroids, something like that. Yo, I hope they make like the 3k vanilla and just sit on it. Speedroids do so much and end on nothing. <laughs> true. Kind of true. Reminds me of Flower Cardians. Alright, what are they? <laughs> yeah. Flower Cardians too, yeah. Just spend like 10 minutes on a turn and don't do much with it. Maybe they can end on Baron now? Uh, no, because the other guy locks them into Worms. Uh, Ashuna's effect, when you use it to special summon a uh, Tinny from the deck, you're locked into uh, Worm Monsters for your special summons. So they uh, they can't make Baron. It's li it's probably just going to be like uh, Grandmaster and then like the other level 10. I forget what his name is. Chin Ying or something? Yeah, so there's no Baron here, which is kind of good. And speed words can end on Baron. Oh, yeah, sorry. My bad. I thought you were talking about the this guy. Let me guess they just messed it up. Maybe. Remember one of my favorite decks in Master Duel, the zombie deck, is top tier work of art. Oh, like a Shiranui or a... Because there are a couple of zombie decks in, that are running around in Master Duel. Yeah. Although, it, since you're talking about R, I'm guessing it's uh, Shiranui. Maybe. Uh, I guess this one we could discard. Tempest and Lightning search something. Debate Ravine, discard. Something. Add Gizarm. Gizarm summons, add Lightning, etc. You meant the other one, so it's not Shirinui, it's... I mean, I'm thinking Eldritch? 
it's the another zombie deck that's running around. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, that one, yeah. Yeah, that one is also popular, but they did hit Konka. Oh, Zombie World Doom Control. Dude's not Eldritch. Oh, you mean the... So, uh... Not Ragnarok, right? It's, uh... Doom King something. I don't know. There's like a million... There's a million uh, zombie cards. You're gonna have to be more specific. <laughs> like, uh, saying it... Saying the zombie world... The zombie card with uh, nice art is really unspecific. Doom King control deck? Oh, okay, I see. It's the work of art, yeah. Yeah, Zombie World is the uh, the bane of my existence right now, so... Activate this, then with the other guy they added... Well, drop us into drop is uh, fantastic. All right, uh... Activate Ravine. Pitch Lightning. Add Gazarm, normal Gazarm. Doom King is a Sigma. He's a normal monster, but has good effects. I wouldn't call him a normal monster. The thing's an absolute beast. That's Blackout, by the way. We're kind of screwed. Okay, let's go with this. That thing is pain. Oh, with, with Shirinu, yeah. Yeah, unfortunately, if that's Blackout, we straight up just can't win. Or the Ash Blossom, okay. <clears throat> Fucking cross out, that is annoying. Well, we lose this one. That's, uh... Fortunately, we don't have anything else. And we have made no progress in an hour. Fantastic. <laughs> and we, we haven't even built up, like, some, uh, some sort of win streak so far. It's always been win one, lose one, win one, lose one, so... We won the pre we lost the previous one, so we're guessing we're gonna win this one. <laughs> Shira best <laughs> Oh my, what a hand. Absolutely fantastic. It's a uh, DPE and four staples, let's go. We all know this combination is, is absolutely unbeatable. Go call by the grave. DP gaming, yep. I swear though, if they have a kaiju, I'm gonna be really upset. <laughs> well, they probably wouldn't have wasted an ash for uh, a kaiju, I guess, so I don't know. God, you're gonna go check Master Duel meta on what deck to build. Uh, probably Sword Soul, if you're trying to be a uh, ultra competitive. Although you should be able to do decently well with any deck, really. I mean, like I'm struggling Diamond 2 right now, but like yesterday we were one win away from Diamond 1 when we're, I'm just playing Arm Dragon, so it's not like it's the best deck either. Okay. Uh, 
let's go with Imperm. Oh, they got the discard for the other guy. Oh, nice, they got rid of Blackout for us. That's cool. And here we're simply going to pop the token, I think. Alright, what now? Go Verte. Yeah, there you go. Alright, here we can simply... Here, because we have to send Cross out, let's just use Cross out anyways. To, uh... We'll call it the last Fusion Destiny because we don't want to draw it anymore. So let's just do this. And Chain Droplet. There you go. So even if they somehow have it in hand, they can't use it. You know, apparently just having DPE and like five staples is like the best thing ever. <laughs> Why bother building an actual deck, am I right? When you could just do this over and over and over again. Well, that's not really what I was hoping to get, but that's fine. Right, out comes DPE. Let's activate Flash, bring out level 3. And we can go Celestial. Banish Dasher, draw 2, and... Hopefully we get, like, something good. Broken, okay. Basically DP and a bunch of traps. Exactly! Okay, give me a short version on why Sword Soul is a good deck, because I'm lazy. Uh, Sword Soul is basically a bunch... Like, all of their monsters are basically, like, one and a half card combos. Yeah, but it's basically just a bunch of, like, one-card combos. Or, well, one and a half, because you just need, like... Like, it's, uh... You just need, like, the Sword Soul monster and another Worm monster. Or a Soul Sword Soul card. And basically, uh, you just have, like, a, a whole synchro on its own. So that's why it's kind of good. Yeah, make boards and make FU plays, yeah. That's basically it. It's, a uh, like, really consistent and everything, so... That's why it's, uh, kind of popular. I haven't made Hulk yet, right? Uh, I'm thinking this, or... Wait, I can't click anything else? Okay. Why can't I click Tempest? Hello. Well, whatever. We're gonna add Gram now. <clears throat> Here, we're going to make Hulk of Fibrax. And see how they react. Oh, I, I, haven't, <laughs> I haven't set up a Lurk Command yet, but uh, I appreciate the sentiment, uh, Sphere. Uh, let's bring out the other Ash. Let's activate this, we'll discard Gram. We'll pop the back we'll spin the back row, rather. We 
You get to banish two. Oh, and they're literally almost dead. Okay. That's 2,000. Yeah. Cool. So we have game on board. Shall equip it. Why not? There you go. So that was a rather convincing win. Let's hope we can uh, win the next one and break the little uh, cycle of uh, win, lose, win, lose, win, lose. <laughs> Oh, we get to go first, all right. Hopefully we get a good hand. Well, I wanted a good hand and uh, yeah, that's basically a, <laughs> it's basically amazing. Almost safer, we're gonna activate safer, we'll send level seven. Probably Ash. Yeah, because I didn't give them a response when I summoned the safer, so people left like shotgun maxi. Oh no, they're reading the cards. Yeah. Ash Blossom. Do we care about negating that? Eh, yeah, we kinda do. And with this, we can add... Oh, we could add Parlam, we could add Distrudo. Hmm. Let's add Pilarmed. Here, you're back, and yeah, you think you're gonna make Sword Soul? Yeah, that, that's a good choice. By the way, uh, are all the main cards of Sword Soul in the same pack? Uh, yes, and you don't even have to like unlock the pack, uh, kind of like how we uh, or how you have to you have to do it for the other packs. This one is in like the actual ma main store. Yeah, so they're all like in the same pack, and it's all like to get together in the same uh, thing. If you want to like un try and get like a DPA, I think DPA is in a different pack. I might be wrong. No, I think I think it's in the same pack. So. But yeah, it's all like bunched up together, so. Should be easy enough to craft if you have uh, enough gems. Now let's go Nocto and run this. Oh, second call by. Nice. Here we can go Pylarm to send level 3. That's gonna draw us a card. Then with Pylarm we could try sending a... Uh... Oh, and the Maxi, nice. Sadly I can't make a different account to stay on, on your Xbox. However, your phone should be fine. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I have like a, an account on the, like, the computer that I use, like, it's this account that I use to stream. Then I also have like an account on my phone as well. Yeah, so it's it's common practice. Right here we could go go seals activate ravine discard this and this Trudo. Mm, let's see. We could dagged us at this. Is there an event to give a lot? Uh, that gives a lot of gems. Uh, well, I think you just missed them. There was like a synchro event, and then there was a fusion event. So, uh, so they're doing like events based on all the uh, the summoning uh, mechanics, and they also did a normal rare uh, event at one point. And those do give a pretty de decent amount of gems. Yeah. If I go seals, clean discard gram. <clears throat> I 
<clears throat> but yeah, I've forgotten about that. Did they finish all of them? Uh, I think now there should be still a... Um, I think there's like a... Well, maybe a Link event that might be coming eventually. Other than the Link event, I'm not too sure. Let's see if I go this... This Halic Cemental token... Makes Dacta... Uh, let's see. It's basically, do I want to make seals or do I want to make verte? Now let's go for seals. It went well the last time, so why not try it again? Inverte is always a backup if we get uh, nibbed. I feel like those events should be uh, one of the modes, but it changes over time to another summon method. I mean, maybe, maybe that's something that they'll do in the future. But for the moment, uh, they're they basically just stuck to like one fusion, uh, one summon me uh, mechanic at a time, basically. <clears throat> uh, let's bring out the Ash Blossom, cause lol. Out comes Graham. Uh, Graham will banish these. Well, they scooped. Okay. Alright then. Well, hey, that's our first uh, multiple win streak. Nice. Okay, hopefully we can keep this up. Only three wins left. Or three... Well, I was going to say three games now. Three wins left, so... Hopefully it continues with this one. We're going first. Fantastic. Let's go. Good hand. Let's go. <laughs> Feels like a slot machine. It's like, am I going to break or am I going to have a good hand? I feel like those... Uh, yeah. I should still I should be still on the stream, but I'm gonna go on Master with Graham Gems for a bit. That is fair. Uh, have fun grinding. Also, thank you for lurking. Let's activate Pile Armed. Well, pitch seven. Oh yeah, a new tier. Oh yeah, that's right. There is a new tier. Yeah, it's uh, the Diamond tier. A lot harder to get to than uh, <laughs> than the other tiers uh, for the moment. <clears throat> I feel like this guy has like a. Ash Blossom, maybe? No, no, it might be an Imperm, actually. Let's try and send a 5. I'm thinking Valor or Imperm. Okay, let's add Graham. Flash, Flash summons out level 3, then we can use 3 to discard 3, and hopefully that like eats up a uh, an Imperm or something, that'd be kind of funny. Alright, let's discard 3. Nope, straight up nothing, okay. Do the other level 5. Level 3 triggers. Yo, broken, okay. Actually, is it though? Yeah, it kind of is. Uh, tch, tch, tch. How do we beta? If it's Imperm, we're fine. If it's Valor... Can't really do much about it. Well, let's go into Romulus and see what happens, yeah? Unfortunately, we drew the dasher, so it kind of makes uh, <clears throat> one less like a uh, thing that we can use as a material. Oh, now they're thinking. Yeah, so it's probably Imperm or Valor. No, they let it go through. Okay. Uh, 
Damn, we straight up just have nothing to discard, huh? That is unfortunate. Let's see. So we could try lightning, send Graham, summon up Tempest, go into seals, banish the Tempest with Graham. That lets us search uh, other stuff, I guess. Uh, let's see. How do I want to do this? Yeah, the fact we have the dash, I don't want to pitch the cross out. Let's do this. We'll bring out Tempest. We can make seals. These two can come out, make something else. If I make seals, I can search out Gizarm. Summon Gizarm, target level 3. Hmm, let's see. Might also be Nibiru, like straight up. But I feel like it's been triggering for a while now, so... I think we're gonna go and banish Tempest. That seems hella sus, but, uh... Yeah, let's try that. We'll banish Tempest to add a card. Well, we could add Gris Armor, we could just straight up, uh... I think we'll add Lightning, pitch the Lightning with Ravine. I think that's what we'll do. Activate Ravine. Hey, what's up, uh, Freakzoid? How you doing? Yeah, how you doing? You tired? Of Master Duel or just in general? Let's discard Lightning. We'll add Gazarm. <laughs> just tired. Yeah, that's right, because you I think you you're the one who had the the big C, yeah. Well, this guy's just not going to use their fucking effects, I guess, uh... Guess we've got nothing to fear, then. Now we do get to go for... Hulk. Fuck, it's failure. We can't stop it. Ah. How's the climb? Ah, uh, well, so far we've been, uh, it's basically been like, we win, win one, lose one, win one, lose one, like, on and on and on. Uh, for what seems to be like a very long ass time. But, uh... Yeah, so that was basically just the, uh, sort of cycle for a while. Let's set a card and see, does it... Well, we could go for plan B and just make Dagda with uh, seals. And fortunately, people are playing Valor all of a sudden. It's like, <laughs> I add a couple uh, Imperms to try and to have as a crossout target. And all of a sudden, people just start playing uh, <laughs> Valor. 
Yeah, so it's been going fine uh, most of the time. But that, uh, it's like, it's like w one game will do super well, then the other we're just gonna get blown out or something. You have no shot they have like a gamma, right? I think I'm gonna wait for them to summon something. Yeah, so it's been it's been all right, but uh, it could definitely be better. Pitching this, okay. TG Wonder Magician. Call by the grave. Now I'm gonna chain this, and I hope they don't have either a second call by or a cross out, because that would just absolutely suck. go. Bring out Scythe. Awesome. Scythe has resolved and we can just go into Bahon. Next turn we can make DPE, and that should be it. Alright, end phase. Top deck this Trudeau, really strong, okay. Change to attack position. We can activate uh, Ravine again, we'll pitch. Distrudo for something else. Let's just send the last lightning, yeah? Spanish uh, two lightnings. Over Dagda, for Dasher, nah. I guess now we just go for damage, yeah. Let's attack into this. Now we go Verte, Verte into DPE. All right, very nice. So we can, well, right now we're like in a really solid position, especially since Batwin can just summon out uh, Wes's face uh, next turn.
And there we go. Scythe again. No response. Ooh, into Vishuda, okay. Fortunately for them, they can't get rid of the Vishuda now, because the Scythe. Yep. Awesome. So we are on a little win streak now. Two more wins, and we finally hit the uh, Diamond Tier 1. All right, let's go. Oh, we win the coin flip again. We go first, and just as before, please have a good hand. <laughs> uh, phew, this is good if and only if they don't stop this. Oh, fuck off. Maxi, I'd almost. <laughs> I almost prefer it that way. <laughs> but now we do have to give him a couple draws. Guess we can sort of try and set up for next turn and uh. Well, unfortunately, the Maxita, so I think that's going to be our turn. Yeah, that's going to be all for our turn right now. We'll set this guy and end our turn. So, a singular negate. <laughs> Surely this won't go poorly. Had to like give him two draws just to like make sure we even have follow up at all. So, well, it's Eldritch, so it's not. Okay, that's not too bad. I mean, depends on the floodgates they have, but you know, with Eldritch, at least now it's kind of unlikely they OTK. Okay, getting Golden Land, uh, Hako Arrow, because that's annoying. No, oh, I know they're just sending it off. Okay. Well, if they don't, they don't uh, have Zombie World or some other obnoxious uh, stuff like that. Pot of Prosperity. Okay. Conk, Ash, and Ash. <laughs> okay. Edding Conk, okay. Well, if they have fucking vanities, that's gonna suck. That's like the one thing I'm really worried about. Skill drain is whatever. Well, the, the Conk under skill drain is kind of uh, annoying as well. <clears throat> All right, let's see. Can we top deck something useful? Eh, kind of. Yeah, and here I'm thinking of just going, uh... Just going pile armed, I think. Now let's add flash.
Yeah, since we can only attack once with pile armed anyways, let's just force out the conch. Okay, there we go. So that's fine. Alright, let's go bring out Graham. Hopefully they don't have another hack, I don't recall. Ah, oh, fuck off, of course they have the other one. Well, that just got a lot more difficult. right into the imperm column whoops imperial order well I guess they're just that good well that's uh unfortunate Let's go. Don't need to worry about the Imperm Column, at least, because they're all Imperm Columns. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> exactly. Alright, hopefully uh, we don't get Maxedia. Although, to be fair, I was going to set up a Scythlog, and I don't think that's too useful against Eldritch, but... Yeah, hopefully we don't get Maxed on. <clears throat> Well, this hand ain't too bad, actually. Well, they probably have Ash, or... Because surely they would have chained Maxi, right? So... Let's hit this guy. Nope, it's not Ash. What could it be? Uh, let's see. Could add 7. Yeah, let's try that. Let's add uh, level 7. If it level 5, we'll send level 7. Bring out Pile Armed. Pile Armed can then send level 3 for a search. And level 7 can... Uh... Should I forgot I already used Flash. Whoops. Uh, I mean, we could still add another flash, because uh, why not? Let's activate this. We'll send a three. Oh, wow. Okay, we drew the perfect thing. Fantastic. Let's go Gizarm, Special Summon, uh, level 3. At this point, what do I want to do exactly? I could... Make Romulus. Add Ravine. Activate Ravine Pitch Flash 4. Then we can uh, send Gram, yeah. All right, let's try that. They had a response earlier, but they're not using it. it. Might be Nibiru or something like that. All right, we're gonna discard Flash because we don't need it. Go and send Gram, yeah. Let's banish five, let's banish seven. 
We got Graham, and I think here we can simply make Halk, bring out Ash, make Dagda, set three, and pass. Yes. Maybe. Actually, no, let's not even bother with the Hulk this time. Because they, 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 they've they been having a response for a while, so... If it is something like Nibiru, I don't want to have to set Cross out and then they just nib me, so... Also, bot check. Hey, Hen, what's up? Let's go for Dagda now. We'll use the Gram effect. Target itself, that's going to trigger Dagda. Yeah, exclamation mark lurk doesn't work yet. I forgot to set up, or not I forgot, but I just didn't think to set up the, set that up. Man, I can't even speak anymore. Wow. <clears throat> and we just go into Verte. Like, Hulk Dacta would have been better, but I don't know. Comes DPE. Right. Now we can set uh, everything and not be too worried about Nibiru since uh, DP can just kill itself. Alright, let's end turn and there you go. Oh, it's banished out deck. When this card is almost seven, you can banish a monster from your hand. Oh, it's Thunder Dragons, okay. Banish one monster from your deck of the same type as that monster. This card is destroyed by battle. Okay. Special summon, okay, let's see. Let's use it now, we can go DPE. Oh, so I guess it was Thunder Dragon Dark then, in that case. Yeah, let's just make a uh, DPE in case they try to do anything uh, funny. So Scythe triggers. There are Thunder Dragon Roar triggers. This guy triggers. If this card is banished, you can shuffle any number of cards from your hand into the deck. Okay. DPE activates, and then we'll to top it all off, we'll chain maxi. That's chain link, what? Chain link <laughs> five? Wow. Oh. Hello. Okay, there you go. Out comes Scythe. They have a response. No, they do not. Okay. Well, just like that, they can't do anything. Okay, that's fine. And our graveyard is rather full, so we should be able to end this next turn. And now we know they just have Dark in hand, so it's like, whatever. No need to worry about whatever that is. Oh yeah, let's just dash her, summon out the lightning. Ooh, Maxi. Okay, yeah, we're not gonna let that happen. I get to use Maxi, but you don't. <laughs> let's hit this. Okay. 
Alright, let's go lightning and attack. Bring out DPE. Alright, and what do we do from here? So we could get rid of this, go pitch a tempest. Get Destrudo in there. If I do Destrudo, that's, uh, yeah, Destrudo targets Scythe. Well, actually, let's do Celestial first. Okay, because anyways, Destrudo targets, targets Scythe, then Scythe plus level 2 Destrudo plus Lightning, that makes Baron. Then you bring out Graham and Tempest, and it's uh, basically an OTK. Awesome. All right, two more wins, and we are in Diamond 1. All right, let's go. Hopefully, it's these next two. Okay, our opponent goes first. Ah, uh, well, they win the coin toss, okay, and they choose to go first. Alright, let's see. Let's get a good hand. Well, it's not bad. I mean, it's really strong going first. Going second, though, eh, not too much. Basically, I have zero hand traps. Don't even have like a droplets or anything, so. If they set up too many things, then we might be screwed. Okay, and it's Tenny as well. Well, well, Sword Soul Tenny. Wow, broken. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, come on, stop drawing lightning. That's not, it's not the time or the place. Uh, shit. Wow, I wasn't expecting that. Uh, let's go. We just opened flash. Yeah, let's try this. Let's go flash. We'll summon out level three. They have a Nash or a Maxi. You have a Nash Blossom. Can I let that resolve and not care? I think we can. Yeah, I kind of want to save the cross off for something that's more important. Hey, Pice, what's up? How you doing? Activate Tempest, we'll pitch. Level 3. Here, let's add. I would get to add anything, but I feel like Gizarm might be the best choice. Yeah, Gizarm is like. At least we know what we're getting with uh, Gizarm. The thing is, when pitching level 3, so you don't really know what you're getting, so it's kind of unfortunate. They're doing good? Awesome! That's so strong. Okay, that's probably might be the best thing we could have drawn. Let's go into Gizarm. So yeah, yeah, I said that on the on the Discord. Yeah, you hit Diamond One. That's awesome. Man, it's like unlike all the Discord channels I'm on, it's like everybody's like, "Yo, I just hit Diamond One," and I'm like, "Bro, why am I the last one?" <laughs> Come on. Uh, let's see. Yeah, it's like times are rough, bro. Uh, here we can go. If I go Halk, summon something out, can bring out Graham. Graham can then go into Dagda. Yeah, so we can't really OTK with this hand, unfortunately. But. Yeah, I don't think we can OTK with this. We should be able to set up something decent enough. Yeah, yeah, so you did it with the Attic Nisters. That's actually kind of cool. I, I kind of just assumed that uh, Attic Nisters couldn't make it to Diamond 1, but uh, 
At the same time, it's like if I'm making it to Diamond 1 with uh, Arm Dragons, it makes sense that you, sh you should be able to as well. Scythe is kind of good enough against any Tinny Sorcerer deck, yeah. That's what I'm hoping. And plus, we got the cross out. Like, the reason I didn't use cross out on the Ash is because I kind of wanted to keep the cross out for, uh, you know, if they try and stop it. Uh, let's go with. Adenister is a really good deck, yeah, it, it really is. <clears throat> uh, could go Dacta, use Fusion Destiny. It's... Then I can't actually tack over it, funny enough. Wait, if I go Unicorn, that's 2,200. 5,100. Oh shit, even with the uh, Unicorn into this is uh, not enough. So I'm trying to see if I can't game them. Uh, this Unicorn, pitch this, spin the Vishuda. Can go to... Yeah, we could go into access code, but then it's not game. Nah, unfortunately we don't got games, so let's just do this. Another bot, uh... Spamming their garbage. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah, adding Mr. Add, adding Mr. is a really good duck. I can't speak for some reason. Uh, let's see. Let's go Dagda. Sometimes you just draw all the extenders, yeah. I mean, yeah, if the whole deck is extenders, I mean... You can't really brick, right? Let's use Dagda. Well, if they brick before, they're definitely not going to unbrick now, so. Let's set the scythe. Bring out DPE, send these two. Yeah, oh, you can brick, yeah. You can draw no starters, yeah, that, that would be rough. All right, let's see. All right, here they're gonna try and summon out something for the Vishuda, but we won't let that happen. They have a Chainable, that is important to remember. Fantastic! Okay. And just like that, we are finally back to one win away from Diamond. Alright, from Diamond Tier 1. Okay. Now, sorry for sorry for the chat. I'm going to ignore you for this one because I do not want to lose this. So I'm going to focus on this one really hard. Last game, and hopefully this is going to be the final one. We get to go first as well. Give me a good hand, and that is all that I ask for. <sighs> okay. Well. Let's see what they have. Yo, do they have nothing? Bruh. Okay, no, no, they have something, let's see. Oh, it might be an Imperm, because they, they didn't, it's not Ash, because or else they probably could have stopped the Lightning. So surely it's an Imperm? Yeah. Here we could go for... I don't think we have a way of... Uh, unfortunately, I don't think we can make use of the Noctovision. Let's see. <laughs> this hand fucks against nothing, yeah. Well, unfortunately, this isn't, like, level 7. This is Nocto, so we don't... I'm trying to think maybe there's a way for us to, like... 
not send it to the grave, but I think we're going to have to sack it. Yeah, I think we're going to go pile armed. Yeah, we're going to have to sack Noctovision, unfortunately. Well, they clearly have something. Let's go and send seven so we can add flash. Yo, use the Imperm on pile armed. That'd be really funny. <clears throat> no, okay. Let's add the uh, level seven. That's going to add us flash. We clearly have something. Uh, go for Romulus, the, let's say the Impermit. Is that okay? Is it okay if the Imperm, the Romulus, we can flash some in three normal... Ash, go into uh, Halk, bring back Tempest, make Dagged Up, but then we're kind of weak to everything else. Find normal Ash Blossom, make Baron. Then bring back Tempest, make uh, Romulus, then we can make the uh, Halk Dagged Up with a Baron. Yeah, I think normal Ash to make Bowen immediately, so we could just, uh, be done with the whatever the hell they have. Let's go banish, not this one, let's banish these two. comes Tempest again. It might be like Roar. You think it's like Thunder Dragon? Let's go into... Why oh, no, shit. If I go into Romulus, I strip up... Uh... Yeah, Romulus is... Yeah, if I go into Romulus, what the hell am I discarding? Never mind. Romulus is a bad play. Let's go for... Yeah, let's go for Dagda. Then we'll activate Flash. So Dagda's gonna trigger. Imperm. Ah. Uh. Do we care? If I bring this out... Yeah, we kind of do care, because I can't really make another... Uh... Uh... Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's try to negate it. At least we had the Imperm read. And if they have Nibiru, it's fine. We'll just chain Maxi and draw the Destiny Fusion. The Fusion Destiny. Uh, let's go negate the Emperor. We'll set Scythe. Let's go into this. Also, sorry again for not looking at chat. I'm really, uh... I'm just trying to focus on this right now. Unfortunately, though, that kind of got rid of our negate for, uh... That got rid of our all our negates for the next turn. <clears throat> uh... 
Okay. You know what? I feel like getting rid of a uh, anaconda, maybe. Yeah, they just pop, pop the anaconda. I don't want to have it uh, so they can't kill me. All right, let's go end phase. Here, what do we want to tag out for? I guess we could uh, maybe tag out for like Noctovision or something. Yeah, no point in keeping a bound here, so. Could bring out Nocto. It's huge, and if we just go into Link the next turn, we can simply uh, you know what? Loki feel like shotgunning Maxi as well. Ah, no, maybe not. <clears throat> Tri Brigade. Okay. And here we're going to let them summon out the Karas to try and play around a... Cross out Designator, okay. okay so they're going cross out here to hit the... Uh, <clears throat> to hit this thing. Yeah, and on summon I'm going to pop DPE. And I'm also going to pop the Scythe. If they have call by, I'm afraid we lose. Okay, at this point, if they have droplets, we lose. If they don't have droplets, we win. It resolved. Let's go. All right now we are just in a extremely solid position. Yeah, you can do whatever you want at this point, unless if they like specifically have revolt already. But revolt, we can always just chain DPE, pop whatever they summon, and uh, <clears throat> like in the long term, we will win this. We will win that grind game. Now let's see. Uh. Yeah, no problem. I heard you trying to focus. Yeah, because this is the this is the duel where if I win, I can finally go to Diamond One. So that's why I'm really uh, I'm really just focusing on this right away. Sure, we'll special summon in the uh, out comes DPE. Is it Revolt? Yeah, they have the four materials for Revolt. Uh, let's see. What can I make right away? I could... I could make Romulus to draw a Ravine and a card. Let's go Nocto. Let's go ra Ravine. Oh, god damn it, Anad. Uh, I'm sorry about that. I guess I could go into uh, the settings, turn off the ads, I guess. Oh my god, that's huge. Wait, can't we just... <laughs> we could chain... Uh, can't we just chain call by to whatever they try and do? And Maybe. Okay, out comes... Uh, let's see, how do I want to do this? One, two, three. Chingal Bai keeps them off of Shirag. Yeah. I think that's what we're going to try and do. I'm going to discard the Ravine for this.
Discard Ravine. Hit the set. Wow, they did top deck the <laughs> Revolt. Wow. Let's go Call by the Grave. Hit this. Uh, let's hit the... Nerval is a good hit, yeah? What did they add, actually? Did they? Do we know what they added, or... Send, activate, send, activate. Okay, no. Yeah, let's hit the Nerval so they can't add anything. Wait, no, I'm fucking dumb. They can, uh... They get, get it from the Banish Zone, actually. <laughs> I'm stupid. You can straight up just... Uh, you can, they still get Shrag, actually. <laughs> I'm an idiot! <laughs> Whoops. Yeah, we're, we're really dumb, actually. It's fine. No, you're good. This baits it out, I guess. But, uh... At least the Nerval is still negated, so they can't float into anything with it. Oh, motherfucker, let me chain. Actually, we're about to do something really funny. They don't get a try for next turn, at least, yeah. Uh, here I will chain DPE. The question is... Do I try and be funny and just pop a... We can go here. Do I pop my own unicorn? <laughs> nah. This card is sent to the graveyard. Add one whose level is less than equal to the number of banished. Well, they can't add anything, so let's just get rid of it right away. Tempest dumb, tell me something new. Yeah. Because they here they banished the unicorn. That's fine. We get to bring back... Uh... Yeah, so here goes DPE. Now... Oh, wait. I, I thought we used Celestial already. That's right, no, we went plus two off of, uh, we went plus two off of, uh, Noctovision and, uh, Romulus. Now we're plus two. <laughs> this is so cheap. <laughs> okay, well, we still, uh, get to win. Fantastic. Let's go Gram. Gram banish any two dragons. Oh, yeah, this is more than enough fuel, so... Let's banish these two. We'll keep Nocto in the grave to protect from the uh, graveyard stuff. Even if they have Nibiru in hand, it doesn't do anything. Okay. Oh wow, you get to hit them very, very hard here. Yep. And then we're gonna make seals. So now we have Imperm, seals, and DPE for the next turn. So with two cards in hand, they're not beating this. Yeah, out comes seals. Yeah, this is... Um, I mean, they'd have to, like, top deck, like, the best thing ever. <clears throat> but yeah, this is game. Let's go! <laughs> Woo! Finally! <laughs> ah, how poetic. We, act we ended up against uh, Tri Brigade for our last duel. Ah, oh, finally! <laughs> Shit, <laughs> bro! Like, like I, I was looking at the uh, on the YouTube channel because I'm like getting ready. Uh, I'm re like getting the playlist ready for this, and currently, like this stream is part thirteen. We've been at it for thirteen fucking streams, trying to get the diamond one with arm dragons. <laughs> Whew! Wow, finally. Oh my god. On the last day. Well, at least last day, because tomorrow I can't do any grinding, but... Uh, whew, finally. We might finally made it to Diamond 1 with the Arm Dragons. Well, well, yeah, dra Arm Dragon Ruler, technically. So, come back to see the Diamond 1. Exactly, you just missed it, uh, Sphere. We literally just got to Diamond 1, so... 
Yeah, went on a little uh, tear here and uh, managed to get it. And the last duel was against Try. So, here is the deck list. <sighs> Looks like an absolute mess. Uh, I'd say there's about... Yeah, Try did nothing, yeah, because... Uh, the absolute uh, scythe lock, yeah. Looks like an absolute mess. Now, you either open God Hand or you ap open an absolute brick with this deck, so... so. Whew. My god, that was stressful. Yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna have to catch up with the uh, chat because I I, did, I barely looked at chat, but yeah. Looks like your life. Yeah, this is a mess, but... I don't know, it's kind of like a... Uh, you know, well, I, I, you know what? Let, let's just go over the deck, right? Because I, I know earlier someone was asking for the deck list. I don't know if they're still there, but... Whew. Yeah, so I remember... Okay, so first of all, for the first half of the season, from, like, gold to, like... I think gold to, like, diamond, platinum 3 or something, uh, we were using this version of the deck, which is basically you use, like, either Gizarm or Distrito to go Halkororodon. So, you know, it's basically you have, like, the Yangxing, the... You know, the Zerzer are one O-Lion, uh, Hulk, and o o o Orodon. So this is what we were using for, like, the first half of the climb. Which, it was still pretty good, but it's like if you drew the O-Lion, you basically bricked. Which kind of sucked. But yeah, so overall, still pretty good. And it was uh, still pretty solid. But then after that, uh, DPE came out, and uh, we switched for a uh, more, like, quote-unquote consistent version Inconsistent in the sense that, like, if we draw the Garnets, we, they're not dead. Just play two line easy, I refuse. Now, I, I guess we could, but, you know. I, I think I tried that once, and then I drew double line, and I was like, fuck this. <laughs> Going back to one. Well, yeah, so. It's like, I feel like the when we brick, though, it's... It's it's not necessarily be... Like, uh, there's, like, two ways you can brick with the deck. It's either you draw, like... You know, Celestial, Dasher, Scythe, and then like two sevens. Or you just draw like seven, seven, five, five, and then like Gizarn, and then your Orogram, and then you're like, oh, well, my whole hand's dead. Cool. Then <laughs> play three Lion. Yeah. That try never tried, to, <laughs> that try player never tried to, uh, tried to fly away. Yeah. They definitely did, that's for sure. But yeah, so, uh, yeah, I'll just go over this version of the deck. I, I can go over the other version of the other deck uh, uh, later, because it, it has been a while. Yeah, basically, the idea is you just try and use the Arm Dragons as an engine to fill up the uh, the grave. It seems uh, seems cool. I mean, it's really cool. I d really do enjoy it. But yeah, it's like uh, this version and the or Halkorodon version have a higher ceiling than the pre than the version I had when I made it to Platinum the previous season, if I can find it. Hello? Arm okay. Yeah, so this one, this was like the original version, I think. Yeah, yeah, this was like the original. Actually, this one's bad. Let's not look at it, that one. It was... Oh, yeah. So this version may start doing it on my Karakuri Turbo. I play one line, and I, if I draw it, <laughs> it Meow is fucked, yeah. But yeah, so... Uh, yeah, play Halkorodon, DP Scythe. Unfortunately, that's way too many Garnets, because the thing... The deck is... Like, Arm Dragons in general, the whole deck is just two-card combos, right? Like, this one is... The ceiling is lowered because you don't play DPE Scythe and you don't play Halkororodon. But you run a lot less Garnets in the deck, so you max out on the Armed Dragons and everything. So it's more consistent than that way. The ceiling is lower, but and you just end on like seal and IP. You know, like almost every turn. It's more consistent, but the ceiling is lower. Whereas the Halkororodon combo and the, uh, the Scythe Lock version, it's like the ceiling is a lot higher. But, uh, you know, if they if they have a... Uh, or, you know, you can break, first of all. And then there's also a chance that they have the out, so... Yu-Gi-Oh! takes all your energy sometimes, yeah. I mean, bro, I was exhausted. I I'm, I'm still am, kind of. Yeah, so the idea here... Like, the reason I built this deck was because I wanted a deck that worked well with uh, Tempest. You know, with, that worked well with me, so... And, uh, you know, Tempest has a bunch of effects where you can discard a wind uh, monster to the graveyard. Add a dragon. If it's banished, you add a wind dragon. You can banish two winds or dragons from the grave to summon it, etc. Uh, Graham is also like a sort of a dragon ruler. It has no hand effect. And it doesn't do anything when banished. But the summoning condition is very similar. Although it's not from hand and grave. It's just from grave. And But the, the big bonus on this guy is, first of all, he's a massive beat stick. 
He's at 2900. And his effect is actually really clutch. It comes up very often. Where uh, you can target a uh, face up monster and basically you can perma negate a monster on the field. And if you have any equips, they lose a thousand attack for each equip. So it, it doesn't come up often, but when it does, it really saves you. Seal's IP is not that really strong. Well, actually, it's Seal's IP, and then the idea is like they try and do something. You activate Seal's tribute itself, bounce something on the field, then Seal summons out a Chamber Dragon Maid. Chamber searches tidying, then you go IP and, and Chamber into a Nightmare Unicorn, discard the tidying, spin another card. Then on your turn, you can banish the tidying in the graveyard, bring back the Chamber, search tidying again, make access code, and then uh, access code and Gram is an OTK. So it was actually kind of strong. It was surprisingly strong. But uh, I don't know if, like, in this meta, it would be uh, as strong. Especially not against Sorcerer when they could just, like, power through, like, two interruptions. But, yeah. Yeah, so the whole point of this deck is, you know, facilitate just a Dragon Ruler deck. Um, you know, a, a deck that, like, fill I was looking for a deck of dragons or wind monsters that can fill up the graveyard really rapidly. Just put a ton of dragons in there. And that can synergize with Tempest. And it happens to be with the Arm Dragon Thunders. Because basically, the Arm Dragon Thunders are all wind dragons. They all have an effect where you can, like, discard a monster to special, to, like, quote unquote, level it up so you could summon another version of it. And whenever they're sent to the graveyard by a dragon monster's effect, level 3 lets you draw a card, level 5 adds a level 5 or higher wind, and level 7 adds an Arm Dragon card from your deck to your hand. So you can use things like Lightning to discard an Armed Dragon, Tempest's Hand Effect to discard an Armed Dragon, Safer can discard an Armed Dragon, the Armed Dragons can discard themselves, and that basically allows you to like summon bodies, fill the grave, and not go minus the entire time. You always keep plussing over and over and over again. So that's why it's like generally you try and like, you know, you go Lightning, discard 5, 5 can add like 7, then 7 can, or 5 can add Gram, which is also Wind Dragon. So, it's like the synergy is there, right? It's like, th this is the, the whole idea of the, the deck. Like, so you have the Arm Dragons, the Five, the Seyfert, everything else. Then you have the Triple Flash, which, triple flash, which summons out the uh, level threes. So that's like the main core, the, like the, the actual engine of the deck. So, one part, like a reason why this deck can brick is if you just, like, if you don't draw any way to discard your Arm Dragons, and you and like you mainly just have like seven or three or five, then you kind of just brick because you can't summon out five and seven. And if you can't discard them, you can't do anything with them. So that's one way the deck can brick. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's just an inherent flaw of the armed dragons. Uh, this is why we're running a uh, two fives, by the way. It's because it's the least useful one. So yeah, and then after that, we are we also include like targets for safer. So you know the idea here is you could either with safer you can send a dragon from your hand or field to the graveyard to add a dragon from your deck with the same level. So Seyfert, with Seyfert you can send level 3 to add something like uh, lightning and that will not only add lightning but then it, uh, it's also going to trigger level 3. After that you can Seyfert send 7 to search either Pylarmed, uh, Noctovision, Destrudo, Tempest or another level uh, version, uh, another copy of 7. And then not, not only do you get the search of Seyfert, level, that also triggers level 7 to add another Armed Dragon card. So you get to go like, you get to go plus off of like, only a single card, which is really strong. The reason why we're playing two level 5s is because there are no good, good level 5 dragons in the game. That would at least work with this deck. So if you have like Seyfert and level 5, you just go, uh, you know, you send 5, add 5 and you don't really have an effect. Hey, Private AWOL, thank you for the raid! How you doing? Let me just give you a shout out. That's Private Awal. Awal raiding with those high heeled boots. <laughs> yes. Let's go slay. <laughs> All right. But yeah. So that's why we're only playing two five. It's uh because because I've I, before I would have a lot of hands where I just open like multiple five and it's like kind of useless. So that's why we're kind of uh not doing much. But yeah. Uh, <laughs> if our, for a private AWOL's uh, raid, you just missed it. We finally got to Diamond 1 on Yugo Master Duel. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> private AWOL was playing uh, Dragon Quest. 
which apparently isn't the spin-off of uh, Smash Brothers. <laughs> but yeah. So yeah, so uh, basically this is the idea, like the main core. This is why we're playing Destrudo and Nocto, it's because they're safer targets. Pylarmed as well. And then you can also have different combinations that lead up to like either Gram or whatever, so yeah. Other than that, it's... We have... Oh, also we have Ravine, because Ravine can uh, quote-unquote search Tempest, Distrudo, and Gram by uh, pitching them to the graveyard. It can also search Gizarm. Meow, back to sleep. Someone uh, bully dumb dragon for me. Alright, uh, see ya, Caddy. Thank you for hanging out. Yeah. Uh, okay, it's okay. I missed it too, Sag. Yeah. Discard or send from hand to grave. Uh, which one are you talking about? So gamer, well, guess what? I can beat your deck easy by not playing the game. Ha ha ha! Yeah, but yeah. So uh, the arm dragons. Yeah, basically, uh, the, you want to send them to the graveyard. It, they don't. They don't discard, by the way. Well, actually, no. Sorry, it's you have to send them to the graveyard by cost. So it's not by sending by effect. So if you play something like Chaos Ruler, uh, Chaos Ruler's effect. Oops. Wait. What? Oh, if I could spell chaos. So chaos ruler's effect is like it sends five cards, but because the sending five cards is an effect and not a cost, it does not trigger the arm dragons. Their effects trigger off discard or sending from hand to grave. Uh, it's if they're sent to the graveyard by any dragon's effect, any. So it most of the time it's going to be from your hand, but in situations like pile armed, pile armed has an effect where you can send a wind dragon. Uh, so you can send an armed dragon from your hand or deck to the graveyard to increase a monster's attack. But that also triggers the uh, the armed dragon. So it doesn't have to be from hand. It's just if they're sent to the graveyard by any dragon. So so, yeah, so that's uh, that's why it's like they're kind of useful. And also you have situations where you know you have to banish Tempest off of uh, Gram or let's say your opponent is playing a Shrag. You have Tempest on the field, they summon Shrag, banish Tempest. Then you get to search any Wind Dragon. Congrats on Affiliate, by the way. Oh, thank you uh, very much, AWOL. Yeah, I saw earlier you were at, at like a 35, if I'm not mistaken. So yeah, so uh, I mean, if you guys can uh, give AWOL a shout out to help him get it to Affiliate as well, that'd be uh, really appreciated. Yeah, so uh, we, had, we got it uh, like a couple days ago, which was uh, pretty awesome. Yeah, well, 10,000 for an Arara. Yeah, basically, uh, my the, the guys on my Discord basically were like, yeah, you should make Arara and a redeem, and I was like, you know, I don't want to, but they kind of uh, voted against it, uh, like for it rather. So I, I put it there, but then I just decided to put it. Uh, <laughs> I decided to put it ten thousand. Yeah. So. Yeah. So here, that's like the main core of the arm dragons. Because arm is also useful because it's searchable off of Ravine, being a Dragonity monster, and when you normal summon it, you can target a level four or, or lower Wind Dragon, and special summon it. So you, the targets for this are level 3 and lightning, and from this it's basically a normal summon that is a link 2. And because uh, Gizarm is a tuner, you can go into anything. You can go into uh, Seal, Halk, Romulus, IP, Dagda, Verte, like all the link 2s in the deck, Gizarm can go into. So it's good for either setup on turn 1 or as follow up. Yeah, and after that it's just like staples and whatnot. We have the triple maxi because it's the best card in the game. Two Ash Blossom, because we need the way to counter Maxi. If I could cut off the Ash Blossoms, I would. But uh, we, you know, we have to stop Maxi somehow. So double Maxi to stop uh, Ma you know, sorry, double Ash to stop the Maxi. Double Call Bite to stop Maxi. Triple Cross Out with Maxi targets to stop the Maxi. And then uh, drop it to help us break boards. And then we also have things like a Nibiru and an Imperm that were added simply as cross out targets so just because like uh, when trying trying to climb a lot of the time uh like we kind of just if the opponent has like imperm droplet or you know call by that just kills the uh, scythe lock so yeah cross out it you just play all these cards to kind of just trying to counter any counters your opponent may have and Crossout is just like one of the best cards as well in this sort of format where everyone's playing DPE and Fusion Destiny. They're all playing Maxi, they're all playing Ash, etc, etc. So, you know, pretty good stuff. And then we added Nibiru at the end. It didn't come up because no one had Nib ever since we put it in, but uh, 
you know, the, the duels before we would have had it. Protect the Scythe, yeah. I mean, that's the thing, right? Like, this version of the deck, it's kind of like, just make Scythe lock. It's like, you, you make the Scythe lock on, on your first turn, and then on the next turn, you can, you know, you should have a grave full of dragons. And then you can just bring back, D, well, DP comes back, and then you can have Graham, you can have a Tempest. They all come back, and then you try and OTK that way, so... Yeah, that, that's like the general gist of it. And then you have like the Scythe, the DP package, which is just strong in general. Nibiru isn't real, it doesn't exist, yeah. Like, sometimes you can set it up where if you know your opponent has Nibiru, you just go into seals. Like, that's what, that's how I would do it in the other versions. You just make seal is like the first thing you make. Well, actually, you go Romulus, then you go into seal. That way, if they Nibiru you, you can always have a follow up with like a. Actually, didn't even play Red Eyes as a target, but you could have, like, Red Eyes as a target. That way, if they Nibiru you, Seal can uh, summon out a Darkness Metal from the deck or any other dragon. Uh, basically, what we were doing was, you know, if we can make Seals and they Nibiru us, we use the, we make a, use the token for Link Spider, whatever we summoned off of a Seal, we can uh, then go into Verte and make DP. So, that was the idea. But yeah, and uh, worst case, you can always, you can always just... Uh, if you haven't used your rulers, you can also bring them back, keep making more plays, so. But yeah, that is most of the main deck. The uh, the extra deck is quite simple as well. We have the DPE, we have the uh, TG Wonder Magician, because it helps out for the, uh, the Scythe Lock. Because before we were running a Shooting Riser, but Shooting Riser doesn't do anything, so. We, were, we had, like, Shooting Riser and Savage to use that with, like, the Seals, but we never really made Seals on the first turn. Yeah, it was always, always the Scythe Lock, and TG Wonder Magician helps doing that, and then TG and Scythe make Baron on the opponent's turn. So, it's really strong from that point of view. Uh, Baron, because you have a bunch, you know, your deck can sp spit out a, a crap ton of uh, level 7s with uh, Tempest, Nocto, level 7, Pile Armed, and then you have, like, a, a bunch of level 3 tuners and Gizarm, Ash, you know, Distrudo targeting Safer as level 3. So, you can, you can make Baron very easily in the deck. Uh, Link Spider is for the uh, Nibiru token, so if you can't stop the Nibiru, you uh, they leave a token, you use the token to make Link Spider, bring back a Dragon Ruler, go into a Verte. Uh, Halka Fibrax is, you know, for Link plays, and to uh, go into TG on your opponent's turn. Romulus searches out uh, Ravine, which is the searcher for all your other Distrudo and your two rulers. IP is a backup, you know, because you cannot, you know, if for some reason you can't go make the lock or... It's like later on in, in the duel. You can always go as Seal's IP, which is always a strong option. And then uh, on the opponent's turn, you can like bounce something with Seal, whatever Seal summons. You go IP, use that monster to go into Unicorn, spin another card. Uh, and then on the next turn, you can go Nightmare, Unicorn, Access Code, Talker. You know, the basic OTK package, nothing too fancy there. Uh, then we have Dagda and Verte, the searchers for our Scythe and DPE, if we do not draw them. And then... Uh, Avermax is in here just because uh, it's kind of funny. You know, there's certain matchups where, like, your opponent just straight up can't out it, so... You know, there are times where, like, sometimes against Eldritch, sometimes against Guy Striker, decks like uh, Frightfur. You know, uh, if you just make, like, you know, typically like Romulus, then you make IP go into Avermax. Unless if they have Droplet, they straight up lose because they can't kill the Avermax, so... You know, it's an auto-win against a lot of decks, so that's why it's kind of funny. It's also a, especially like late game, like if they manage to like break through the scythe lock and then, you know, like you grind, you break their board, they break your board, and it's back and forth. Eventually, like when both players are on low, low resources, you're still spamming out like the dragon rulers turn after turn after turn, and then you can just drop something like a Avermax on them, which is a game ending at that point. Yeah. <clears throat> so that is the general gist of the deck. And uh, yeah, it's. Uh, I mean, as, as you've seen, if you've been following the the streams for uh, the past couple of days, weeks, or whatever, it either goes full combo and plays through a million things, or it bricks like this. <laughs> you know, first test hand and we bricked. Fantastic. You know, but I guess that going first, it's a brick. Going second, I guess if they don't stop the maxi, it's fine. But like, you know, another brick. You know. Oh look, oh actually this is fine. If they can't stop Flash and uh you know this this is actually fine because the, the the main weakness of the deck, it's you're forced to play a lot of staples to counter the meta. 
or else you just lose, right? Because if Maxi was banned, I would probably take out the three, like, well, you take out the three Maxi, I would probably take out, you know, like, I might even take out Ash, might even take out Cross out, you know, like, there's a lot of stuff you can take away. But yeah, so, it's like, you're running a lot of cards just to stop Maxi, and then you run a couple extra things just to that can try and ruin your day because like an imperm on like romulus or halk or on the scythe can really ruin your day so so it's like not only is the arm dragon like engine kind of bricky in its own but then you add all the staples and it's like ugh. so when you open god like a god hand it's fine and uh to answer your question hen yes we did make it but yeah it's like uh, either you open god hand and like you just you keep summoning and plussing and summoning and plussing. Because it's like lightning discard a an arm dragon, you summon out Tempest, then arm dragon adds a card from your deck to your hand. Then if you discard that arm dragon to summon something else, then you get to plus and you summon another monster. So you get to plus a lot, it's like really strong, really consistent, and the follow-up. It's like the follow-up after is like a lot more powerful because you know you have a great full of dragons, so you can always bring back Gram and Tempest over and over and over again. If you have Ravine on the field, you can also keep sending Destrudo to the grave. You know, if you have DPE, that's another card that keeps coming back over and over. So the grind game is extremely strong, but it's the way you set it up is a bunch of two card combos. So, but that's kind of the inherent weakness. It's not like a like this is actually strong, but if they have Maxi, you're kind of screwed. So I don't know. That's probably like a way to like optimize it. Like, you know. It's like maybe you don't need both Droplet and Imperm. But, you know, it's like the, those were the cards I was running into the most. And I kind of wanted to have more cross out targets in case they tried to stop the uh, Scythox. So, that was basically it. So, for this version. And there's another version that we did, but that was like a long time ago. That was the Halkorodon combo. But yeah. So, I think, because right now I'm recording this for YouTube. So, for the YouTube portion of it. I think I will end it here. So uh, yeah, so we finally made it to Diamond 1 So <laughs> on the last day, so <clears throat> that was uh, quite stressful. But yeah, thank you guys for uh, watching. If you enjoyed, please uh, like and subscribe, and see you next season. Peace out.